Welcome to our read along with Dr. Powell in the book Discrete Perspectives in Mathematics. This is subsection 6.2.5, mere sliding to compute the determinant. Okay, so let's start with this um, with this matrix. So this is like the base and the vector off of it when, and when we were looking at this one before, but this time we're going to use sliding to help us. So sliding mean, meaning we can do row operations. We can even do column operations. The reason why is because um, our determinant calculation is the same whether or not we consider rows or columns. So we can just change our perspectives back and forth. And honestly, we, we, we're going to get the same result. So we can, and looking at this, we do some row, we can do some row operations to get zeros down here and do some row operations to get zeros up here. And notice um, in this particular case, if we um, don't notice that we're only sliding, we're not multiplying any rows or columns by anything. We're not switching any rows or columns. We're not switching because that changes orientation. And we're not rescaling any, any rows or columns. All we're doing is sliding, just adding a multiple of another one to another one. So that's all we're doing. And we can we do that until we have a diagonal matrix. We have zeros off the diagonal. We're just looking at this one. The determinant of this matrix is pretty simple. Since there's only one permutation that has a diagonal with that doesn't have anything zero. It's just what we have at the beginning. So we just take this, multiply it through, times the identity permutation, which is even. Um, so the sign of it, which is positive from there. So we just get that, and that's the determinant. That's all. So if you just slide into a diagonal by doing some row and column operations, we can see the determinant very easily, just right there. Okay, um, we'll end this little video there. Thanks for watching.